All right, guys, so it is currently midnight here, and uh, I'm making this video right now because I feel like maybe time is, is of the essence on this type of matter. But basically, I was browsing uh, QRZ, unfortunately, and uh, I saw a thread from a Whiskey 7 Hulu uniform uh, who had been uh, talking about Cuban jamming ham radio frequencies on 40 meters. And that kind of caught my eye, so I looked into the thread, and I looked over it, and, you know, gathered the details from his video, and I started to do a little bit of independent research of my own to try to determine what is going on. Now, I've already seen some YouTube videos put out, some of it kind of clickbaity with ads, which I'm not going to even get into that. There's not going to be ads on this video. I'm just going to talk about it, just in case you guys haven't seen it. This is mostly to kind of bring awareness to the issue. I don't know... Honestly, I don't have a solution on what we can do, but collectively, I'm sure as ham radio operators, we can at least be there for uh, our fellow operators in Cuba. So what's going on? Well, if you've been following the news, you know that there are protests going on here in Cuba, or, or not there in Cuba, not here in Cuba. But there are protests going on uh, mainly because of lack of medical attention and food and a lot of resources from their author authoritarian government. This is a humanitarian crisis at this point, and it's something that everybody should be aware of anyways, but there's this mass COVID cases, there's lack of food, there's lack of water, and the people are in the streets, and they've been protesting now for several days about uh, pretty much freedom. They want, they want freedom, and they want information, and they want resources, and they want the government to do a better job at delivering what the people need. So, a few days ago, actually on the what I believe to be the 12th, the Cuban government actually shut off internet in certain areas of the country. Now, I'm not going to make this a clickbaity article in, or a clickbaity video and try to tell you exactly what's happening. These are only what I've seen online. I don't, to my knowledge, none of this stuff has been validated. But some articles are saying that social media was cut off in certain regions, and some people are saying that there was a complete internet blackout. I'm, I don't know. I haven't seen a validated source just yet. The only thing we can rely on are honestly those from Cuba who are able to reach out to us and actually tell us what's going on. And unfortunately, they can't do that, uh, mainly because of a lot of internet outages. And if this is the true case, the uh, ham radio frequencies, at least on 40 meters, have been observed to be um, jammed. The government has it came out and said that it is jamming the 40 meter ham frequencies or trying to prevent the its citizens from uh, communicating through that to people of other parts of the world. But it's kind of inferred after the internet blackout uh, in the news a couple of days ago and the fact that the operator in question who was operating this says that he was, uh, relaying, he was relaying information back and forth on single sideband uh, to another country about what was happening and then after that the frequency was uh, apparently jammed and I'm gonna go ahead and show a clip from his video here with I hope I'm sure he he's trying to raise awareness on the issue too so I'm sure he's fine with me sharing this small clip but here's what the jamming sounds like Now, as soon as I saw this, I started, uh, I got on my radio, I got on 40 meters and tried to go to the frequency to see if I could hear the jamming as well. Unfortunately, on the same frequencies, I could not, but I started scanning around the 40 meter band and I did find uh, a, several frequencies on what sounds like the exact same sound that he was hearing in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a clip of what I found on several different frequencies and you can let me know what you think. And mainly this right here video is going to serve too as a little bit of evidence because the operator in question who has posted the thread has asked that uh, he only asked that ham radio operators go try to observe the frequency and go to the thread and post their uh, their evidence 
and information, I guess the location of where you're at and the frequency you've heard it on. So the link to the thread will be down below if you guys want to help out with this. And even if it wasn't the Cuban government, at least all of that information will be collectively used as evidence to try to determine uh, what entity is actually causing that interference. And the reason I say that is because uh, at this point, we have that video to go off of, and we have a few operators um, reporting some some jamming, what sounds like jamming on that on uh, several frequencies in the hand band, but other than that, we can only infer that it, it could possibly be the Cuban government. And again, I don't want to come out and say that it is because I have no validated sources saying so. So I'm just asking you guys if you're if you're not aware of it, I'm, I'm putting this video out to make you aware of it and helping aid this operator if you all do hear these these uh, these sounds of the jamming coming uh, on the hand bands it would probably be a good idea to try to record it uh, at least a time and a date or something like that and head over to the thread and post a reply it doesn't really hurt uh, but all of the information that they can get is probably going to be in the best interest of whoever is going to conduct the investigation or uncover the truth of whatever's going on here there is a real humanitarian crisis going on in cuba so do be cognizant of that. If you haven't turned on the news, there are issues going on and I would ask everybody to do their independent research. Anyways, like I said, this video is gonna be ad free. I'm not gonna ask for subscribers and all that garbage. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.